Hi, I'm Tejas. I'm Andrew. Stuart. I'm Torn. And I'm Egypt. And we're Team Iris. So, Iris is. Uh, so, what this project is about is. Oh, so uh, are we, we try to tackle like uh, Alzheimer's disease because it's a national epidemic, and it's something that's also personally affected me. My grandma has like a early stages of dementia, which could be possibly leading to Alzheimer's. And what happened was we were trying to look for like existing solutions, but one of the problems is that a lot of them require to use like a mobile app, which isn't very intuitive for someone who hasn't really interacted with technology. And Alzheimer's overall does cause a lot of emotional, toll, emotional and social toll, not only for the patient, but for the uh, caretakers himself. So, so our solution was Iris, an AI-powered virtual assistant and wearable device that uses facial recognition to help Alzheimer's patients combat memory loss. And we're going to show you a demo using Iris to recognize a person that the user has forgotten. Hi, Pages. How are you? I don't remember you. That's the website. Thanks, Stuart, your grandchild who likes to have that hardware. <laughs> I don't understand. Stuart is your grandchild who lives in Los Angeles. He likes to come over to see you and help you when you're on. All right. Okay. Oh, it's not going. Okay. So we strive for a non-invasive design. For instance, if the user was having a memory lapse, uh, they may not want to advertise that with a voice command. So instead, they could use our mobile UI. Um, the mobile UI had a, the additional benefit of minimizing disruption of a social interaction. Um, and it accounts for different use case scenarios as well. For instance, if the user had misplaced the ear device, or if, or if they had a hearing impairment, they can still see responses from Iris through the displayed text. So another interface we created for Iris was a web interface, which is a web-based dashboard uh, that can allow a caretaker or relative to set up and manage Iris for a patient. Uh, for example, the uh, interface we created during the hackathon allows a caretaker to set up and manage relationships, images, and faces of the people that a patient should be able to recognize, uh, as well as including a real-time history of all the faces that Iris has recognized, which can be uh, paired with therapy to further combat memory loss. So in the future, Iris could be a benefit to a larger population. Uh, it could help people with other forms of dementia, people with memory or planning difficulties, or people with perceptual problems ranging from loss of vision to prosopagnosia. So all in all, in all our solution to uh, increase the quality of life and help combat memory loss for those with Alzheimer's resulted in IRIS. IRIS has several subtle ways of interaction and the subtlety promotes the user to interact with IRIS and starts building a trusting relationship. Thank you.